Guys, welcome to the legendary Drone Camps RC channel. I'm Justin Davis with over eight years of drone flying experience. Today, we're going to talk about the top five late 2022 drones. This is an updated video for you for saving you money, giving you the right options to buy, depending on what you're looking for. We're going to also going to add some honorable mentions in this video. Let's go ahead and get started without further ado and start out with number five of five. Here we go. Number five on our list is Darwin FPV's Baby 8 Pro. It is a 142 millimeter quadcopter with an analog VTX on here, meaning it has analog FPV video. It has an XT30 in the back, and both of these can run something like a 3S450 battery on there. You can also put a little action cam on the top, you can do freestyle with this one. You can do miniature, um, like say uh, cinema videos, or you can fly it in the backyard. This one is also known kind of as a backyard ripper. So fly it in a small baseball field. You don't need a lot of space for it. Um, this one is quieter than the tiny ape over here, but these are two different, uh, basically two different style flyers. I, I like the way the bigger one flies better, but the smaller one seems to be a little faster, uh, a little more nimble, if you will. But this one is pretty much the do all. And this one's actually less than the Tiny Ape coming in at around $120. So uh, my top five pick for budget drone would be anything that Darwin FPV is making right now because it's kind of like a cult following because of the availability of parts for these, the cost, and the performance. So um, this one is a total home run in 2022. And even in late 2022, it's one of our top picks. Number four on our list is one of the most infamous. It is the Black Hornet military spy helicopter slash drone. This little drone comes ready to fly around $80 with a transmitter, a 1S battery. You can also get it with two and three S battery combos. But I have to say, this one flies really good out of the box. It also has kind of a semi real time uh, recordable FPV camera in the front that you can use with your phone. Uh, you do have to have a phone to operate that camera, but you can also fly it without having um, any type of phone hooked up to it so that's great for a helicopter trainer it is fly barless and it flies in only one mode which is stability mode on here so uh, you can't flip and do anything like a full 3d mode with this but it is a lot of fun to fly you can fly indoors and outdoors and i just love the look of this one it's also under 250 grams so no need to register this one this one is classified by the faa as a toy so this one has to be our number four pick and mainly because of all the, the feedback that we got from our community and our drone camps community just love this one. So this is a great buy for anybody looking for a helicopter slash little mini spy drone. Um, just a ton of fun to fly and, and we really love this one. So uh, we even loved it so much that we put DJI HD on there as well and flew it as a DJI HD FPV helicopter. It was super fun. So you can check this one out in the link below. Let's go ahead and move on now to number three. Number three on our top five for 2022 is the iFlight Nazgul 5 version 2. This is a stripped down version of the Evoke series. If you want something a little more budget friendly, this is probably one of the best bind and fly analog or HD drones out there for FPV freestyle and cinema. If you want to put crossfire on there and fly a little further, you can do that. If you want to fly a little cheaper, you can put a shorter range receiver on there. Uh, you can pretty much fly this with just about any transmitter on the planet. Our favorite one currently is the Radio Master TX16S. That is my max edition version that I have. You can also get the Mark II and pair up with this pretty much with any of the receivers. You can add a module in the back of that radio and you can be off and fly in the mountains within uh, you know a, a day or so. So you can fly this one on a 4S setup or a 6S setup. 6S is going to give you more power. It will also carry any type of action camera on the planet. Um, that is a small handheld style camera for 4K and 5K. If you're shooting with the 1R, you can do that. Insta360. It'll carry the GoPro Hero 10, 9, and the 8. It'll also carry the Runcam 5. And our top favorite decased GoPro right now by Flywoo. It has a built-in screen and a detachable LED touchscreen for the back of this camera. And this camera is running in around $400, uh, much better price than the GoPro Bones. That's the one we recommend. We'll put the link down below for this one for you, but this is probably the ultimate pair up and combo right now for a five inch race drone. And that's number three on our list, most top performing and budget wise bind and fly FPV drone. 
And number two on my list happens to be one of my all-time favorite series of foldable 4K drones. It is the Xiaomi Femi X8 SE 2022 version 2 edition. This one has a three-axis gimbal. It is foldable. It has remote ID ready on here. It has around a 34-minute flight time. And it comes with a transmitter that has removable sticks. And it'll fit a pretty large tablet or a phone. It also has a new updated video transmission system on here that gets it out to around six and a half miles on that 34 minute flight time so you can do search and rescue you can do orbit mode uh, you can fly much more transmission range with this one now than the last previous version they also fix that uh, pesky horizon tilt problem that the previous version had this one has no problems with horizon tilt it also has an improved sensor on board it has a sony one half inch cmos sensor here with a 48 megapixel still uh, so this one can also fly on wi-fi uh, but it's going to be more reliable with the new rof system on there so uh, go with that if you want something under 600 dollars that's kind of a a poor man's Mavic, if you will, this one is the best one to pick for this purpose. It will get you out there. It has a wind level resistance of uh, resistance eight. That's around a 40 mile per hour wind. Uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro has wind resistance of level five. That's around a 24 mile per hour top wind. So this one will fly in much more wind and it will bring you home beautiful video. We just got back from a trip from France. I took this all over France with me for the trip to film for you guys and we came back with stunning footage so i'm very happy with this one and i know you'll be happy with this one too uh, as our number two pick out of the late 2022 top five drones the femi x8 se version 2 is where it's at our number one pick for 2022 and the People's Choice Award goes to DJI Mini 3 Pro. It is a little miniature 249 gram 4K three axis gimbal. It will also shoot horizontal and vertical video. It comes with an optional touch screen uh, and it's beautiful outside so if you want to have something that you don't have to worry about not being able to see your phone on a super hot temperature day i would go with this transmitter this transmitter was super bright in the south of france when we were out filming in 95 degree temperatures uh, whereas otherwise with my iphone it starts to get really hot overheat and the screen goes dim so you really can't see what you're filming however with this transmitter you can really see full color very bright oled information on this screen you can see all of your information you can see a real-time 1080p view and the best of all it comes home with some stunning video that is better than any of the micro class series drones on the planet it also has optical avoidance in the front it has also remote id software built into it for the future so it is future proof it's firmware updatable and it also has two versions of the battery you can get for it it has a 34 minute battery that it comes with stock so that's very very good it's a lion pack battery and it has an extended battery that's coming out with 47 minute flight time on something this small guys is pretty much unheard of so uh, hands down this has to be our top number one pick one of my favorite drones of all time in the last 10 years so i got to give it to dji uh, two thumbs up three four five 10 thumbs up on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It is one of my favorites. I just, I can't say enough good stuff about it. The footage that we came back with from France, it was absolutely worth me spending the money to take it overseas. If you're going on a trip anytime soon, spend the money on this drone. This is the one to get to travel worldwide or even locally and get the most amazing, stunning, beautiful shots you've ever seen with the Mini 3 Pro. Uh, can't say enough good stuff about it, and I will keep you updated with a full review of this one coming up on the channel. But uh, from my experiences, very lightweight, easy to pack, and uh, very low profile. Once it's up in the air, the Karens will uh, stay away. So it is a perfect drone for anybody wanting to get aerial 4K footage. Now you get to see our favorite top pick radio for 2022, and even in late 2022, the Radio Master TX16 series has been a home run for Radio Master and kind of resetting 
the favorite radio status across the board, mainly because of its 4-in-1 internal module status that allows you to bind to over around 100 different receivers out there uh, planet-wide. So it will do everything from Crossfire, it will do Futaba, Spectrum, it will bind up to WL Toys, uh, it'll even drive RC cars. It can also handle LED upgrades as well as uh, machined aluminum CNC gimbals. Just a, a beautiful radio that also can run Edge TX or Open TX. It has a JR module bay in the very back. You can get these stylish leather grips on the side. And uh, most importantly, like, yeah, it looks cool, but it is my daily driver and my favorite radio so far of all time. So uh, I have even my own engraved version of this one. We also have a Lumineer version coming uh, that we're going to review on the channel coming up soon, a very special edition version of this TX16S. And uh, we also have some rumors of a new TX12 coming out. So stay tuned for that one as well. But the TX16S series is also uh, just ruling the pool. Also the Mark II version, uh, so many different versions of this radio because it is a huge crowd favorite and my number one daily radio. So uh, you can check this one out in the link down below. If you pick this one up, let me know because you're, you're going to have the best experience with this radio out of any of the radios out there. Uh, and that's also open source, which the community loves. So uh, I stand by this one 150%. It is my top radio for 2022. Another honorable mention drone in a different category for long range it's definitely going to be the iFlight Chimera 7. You can get the Pro Edition or the Regular Edition. It is rumored that the Regular Edition will get you a little longer flight time. But if you add Crossfire and DJI on here, you can have a full-size GoPro mount in the very front, which you can carry pretty much any action camera on it. You can get super long flight times, uh, over 15 to 20 minute flight times with this drone. And you can do some serious mountain surfing or miles down the beach if you want. It also has GPS return to home on this drone and it is quite a bit larger than most of the other drones that you've seen. If you're a beginner, don't start with a 7-inch drone. I, I recommend starting out with something like the Darwin FPV drones and then move your way up to a 5, a 6, and 7-inch. Um, this is one of the largest in the FPV drone class. So um, this is one of the, the kind of the holy grails of FPV for cinematic filming and long-range FPV mountain surfing. So it is a ton of fun, and this has been my go-to drone for serious serious FPV drone flying. And honestly, guys, last but not least, we've got to mention the Flywoo GoPro GP9, or you can get the GP10. It is a decased GoPro with a front screen that you can get for stock and standard setup. Uh, and you can also get a detachable touchscreen LED for the very back of this as well. This one comes in at around $360 without the back touchscreen, uh, a little over $400 in extra, uh, $20 then the GoPro Bones at around $420 with the back screen. Uh, I, I think that Flywoo had it out of the park with this one, mainly because we all wanted a GoPro that we could use that was durable, decased. It has ND filter options on it as well. You can get a series of packs of those. Um, I have one sitting over here to my right that I'll show you right there. So you can get ND filters and UV filters for this camera. Um, but I think it's a better value than the GoPro Bones most firstly uh, because it, it has a screen on there. So uh, GoPro Bones does not. You have to use the Quick app and sometimes you don't feel like using your phone. You just want to set it up and go um, so you can see that you're recording and it comes back with beautiful fantastic footage so my top recommended decased camera for 2022 absolutely hands down two thumbs up all the way across the board uh, 10 out of 10 is the flywoo gopro 9 or the 10 series uh, pick one of those up and you will just love the footage that you come home with it'll be worth your while and your money so there you have it guys now you have all the information that you need if you're going to make a purchase in late 2022 or even early 2023 these products are the best of the best that we've tested and we've had feedback from the guys on our channel so most of the guys on our channel know that i don't steer them wrong i don't give biased reviews i test everything and it has to fly and keep on flying so something that continues to bring me joy 
I will bring back to my drone camps community and share back with them again and let them know that I'm still flying it. It's still durable. It's still doing good. And it's bringing home fantastic video. Uh, but performance wise, all of these perform extremely well, high flight times, affordability, and something that you can just get going with FPV drone experience. If you want to just learn how to fly acro, the holy grail of FPV, these are some of the best picks, my best picks for 4K, a budget 4K drone, and something that is just going to be under 250 grams with beautiful cinematic video. One of the best drones that DJI has ever created and my all-time favorite for portability and just uh, the, the best uh, use for this particular drone. Uh, com coming home with the best video from France uh, that I, I mean, my best video that I've ever shot and I've ever done came from this little tiny drone so um, that says a lot for over 10 years worth of drone flying experience so uh, and my long range pick as well as our radio pick and our little tiny miniature decased gopro pick from flywoo so uh, you have all the links down below that you can check out for our best of the best for late 2022 hopefully you enjoyed the video and the information from us from all of our research this year. Uh, this video is dedicated to all my subscribers and supporters on the channel. I appreciate you very deeply and thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Justin Davis, Drone Camps RC, keeping it real. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.